Monkey Jungle is a zoological park that was started in 1933 by my grandfather, Joseph Dumont. And at the time, he was a commercial artist in New York and wanted to study monkeys just as a hobby. So um, he had read a book about South Florida and came down to look at the hammocks that we have down here and bought this hammock that we're standing on um, in 1933. Moved his family down and intended to study the behavior of these monkeys. But because it was during the Depression, he couldn't get the grant funding he had hoped for. And uh, instead, he um, got the idea to allow the public to come in because there was so much interest in seeing what his project was all about. And when the tourists would go back to their hotel, they'd tell other tourists, and it just kind of grew by word of mouth, kind of by accident. We have about 400 different monkeys here. For instance, at the Wild Monkey Swimming Pool, you can see Java macaques that come from Asia swim in the water. Um, which is unusual for a monkey, as, as you would think. The other show that we have is the Hanging with the Orangs with May the Orangutan. And um, orangutans are not the most energetic animals. In um, They're also from Southeast Asia, and they're not the most energetic. They don't like to spend a lot of energy moving around a lot. And then the third show is, is King of the Jungle with King, our western lowland gorilla. And he will basically show you how similar humans are to gorillas and gorillas to humans, how, how much we have in common. American Sign Language, like some of the great apes, he has adapted about 10 to 15 signs of his own. The final presentation is in the Amazonian rainforest, where we are now. And in here, we just feed them and uh, bring them up close so that you can get a good look at them and see how they um, interact with one another in the wild. The American economy is so poor, we're getting a lot more Europeans than we had in the past. This season has been slower than normal, but um, we're still seeing a lot of international visitors and we're hoping that the fall will bring the same uh, international visitors that can help us to bridge the gap between now and the winter season when everything is expected to turn around.